trying something a little new with the whole face Ready camera. For more. I hope you guys you like what you see. Me. I am currently playing some Warhammer 40k Dark Tide, and I am at level 12 Psyker. So, allow me to maximize the combat potential of your armament. On how it is that I like to play, because I like I being able to use force abilities and uh, maximizing the amount of damage that I can deal in a team. Excuse me. I could use your yep. assistance with this contract. So I can only unlock this guy at level Delightful 11. To see. It's kind of my brief little overview of the contracts and not complete missions in your duty. and get rewards for bonus weapons and aesthetics. So, right now the aesthetics are absolute crap. So, don't waste your money. You stay honest, and I'll stay smiling. That's it, time to you go. You gotta buy in-game currency for that, which is really dumb. May I be of assistance? This is where you get all your weapons and curios from. So, let's see. Max stamina, health. Nothing really interesting. So, I'm going to stick with the staff here and show you guys my build. So, I like the dueling sword. So, one downside is I can't psychically charge it. So, that really sucks. And then the Surge Force Staff allows me to use Smite, which is casting bolts of lightning. So the Void Strike Staff allows me to uh, basically just conjure a giant fireball. So you can throw small ones as your basic or hit your ult fire, which is basically your aim down sight option. And then your Trauma Force Staff just basically allows you to cause an explosion on the ground that deals damage based on how close they were to the epicenter of the explosion and knocks down enemies, which is really good for crowd control. But I like the Surge Force Staff just because it deals high damage to all, uh, multiple targets and is basically going to thin out a wave very quickly in my personal opinion. But it's all a matter of preference. So, and then the Dueling Sword is basically just raw damage. It has a 2% chance every time I attack to deal a critical strike. So, we're going to go into quick play, so we may end up joining a mission about halfway through. And we're just going to wait. I think I'm just going to cut out the loading screen here. So if you see me jump from here to there, basically it's just me removing the loading screen while it explains the mission, unless you guys want me to keep it in. I haven't really decided yet. It only takes a minute. I uh, finally got some ni uh, new RAM sticks for my computer so I can actually play this game, which is really nice. And I will try not to talk during cutscenes. And uh, in case you're wondering about the sunglasses, I'm actually relatively shy and don't want to do an entire face reveal. I was going to do this with a little bandana right here and talk to you guys with a gas mask on my bandana because I am Gas Mask Entertainment, or at least a member of it. And I would like to thank you guys for watching. So I'll walk you guys through what it is I'm doing. So it looks like we're going to Manufactorum uh, Hotel Lima 1736. Metal Fab 36. So, Metal Fabrication. Sounds like fun. And it looks like I'll be deploying alone. That's gonna be... exciting. Alright, here we go. Like we'll be going alone. System records indicate that the primary or smelter not. at Manufacturum HL736 oh, right, has been taken offline. Metaphysical corruption is suspected. Diagnose and eliminate the infestation. The Omnissiah calls you to this duty. Do not make the mistake of turning a deaf ear. Anyway, I'll probably end up playing this game until I get each character to level 30, in which case I'm going to end up moving on to something else. Uh, right now, we're going to figure out uh, what it is we like. It looks like we did pick up some random player. His uh, name is Sam. The smell of corruption is on the air! Oh boy. Ack 
contamination is within acceptable parameters, it will improve further in. See how they value the machines more than the workers? A proud tradition in the Imperium. We proceed to defend this place. I defend it. Supply Elevator 91D serves the smelter complex. Locate and employ. Looks like we got another we are the cyber with us. And, on us. and an Ogren, and I want to say a veteran, but I'm not sure. So uh, you can see my void staff, or my um, staff will electrocute enemies until they die. And the one downside of playing the second class is you have to mitigate your peril. Otherwise, you explode randomly. And it sounds like one of our demons exploded. Not quite. So right now you can see that I'm using a controller for a lot of what it is that I'm doing. So I just like the controller because I will be able to manage. I'm a bit of a nub when it comes to that, so if you don't like it, I'm going to mess up for you. Oh, that's okay. the only thing I can do is I can mitigate my peril by uh, casting Psyker's Wrath, which is my active ability. And then it'll allow me to dispel 50% of my total uh, peril. So it's like very similar. I think you can see my name in the background there. Plays very similar to the uh, Torture class from Stormstone. Uh, Snipers are annoying. And I'm gonna whip out the old demon sword and kind of use that guy off by hand. That's bad as a flamer. On down! Thousands to go! So, the one cool thing I've uh, picked up, a uh, cool ability I picked up with this guy is I can. Uh, basically cause Soul Blaze to end, uh, spe uh, enemies near a special character that I've killed. So like you saw that sniper that I killed earlier, and I apologize that I believe my webcam is blocking, but up in the corner here it'll tell you what type of special uh, enemy they call the Scab. And basically when I kill him, I set enemies nearby on fire. Very difficult to get it to go off. I might actually switch it to something else. Alright, uh, you're getting on my last turn. No, oh, shotgun are Forget how close these guys are. And then, whenever I get in, it's 10%. Uh, it's a 10% ten, uh, ten chance to reduce my uh, peril by 10. So, it tends to work out in my favor. The more I use, uh, the more I attack and I use my sword. And then the staff variation I have picked up does bonus damage to the pox guys that you see. And then, as you see, I take, you know, a certain amount of damage. Okay, hold up. Lowers my overall health. And you can see my fellow psychic trying to use the spring burst ability to kill enemies. So hopefully, I don't make myself explode in this game. 